you know what time it is, race fans. It's that time again. Six Gun Johnny here at the Fortress of Speed with the Ministry of Speed broadcasting live from sunny and rainy and cloudy and hot and muggy, sunny San Antonio, Texas. It is uh, 6, actually, it's uh, 7.13 p.m. Central Standard Time in uh, the U.S. of Lovely A. We're broadcasting live our 250 Shifter Card Series. Uh, it's been a week since uh, I've been on the air, but uh, it's always uh, fantastic uh, to be here and alive and kicking. So, with that said, let's take a look at uh, what's going on here. Obviously, we have some uh, people that we haven't seen in the ministry for quite some time joining us here tonight that's right we got cj bmx back in the mix oh cj y'all know him as uh, the uh, gt3 gunfighters uh runner-up world champion uh, along with him we have video deb uh, a mutual friend of the ministry comes in and out whenever he gets a chance to race with us uh then of course we have carl uh and of course a car everybody knows carl uh but uh here's a new one optimus ate my baby that's sonic's teammate and y'all know sonic's teammate from the dh car series so uh yeah we're gonna have some fun tonight there's gonna be some crazy guys in the room we got roast we got panda we got uh the zebra we also have stay frat one of uh ginger and Sydney's boys there we have a uh, looney tune a uh, ministry a member of course we have gc8 the boy we met him last night a great driver so uh we have an interesting line tonight and the supercar is gonna be a three race uh heat race you know what I mean. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have uh, actually a great time. So give me a second here. Let me make the adjustments on all the devices as I get set up here. Uh, let me turn the volume up there just a tad there. On the microphone. On the microphone. On the microphone. All right. We're working our way down. So, once again, we just want to say thank you for joining us here tonight. Uh, again, for the uh, Shifter Cart Series. Um, I can hardly wait to get this thing kicked into live and full steam. One second, try to go to the live control room here. Dokey Toki. Well, there you have it. All the changes have been made uh, to the 250 Shift the Card Series uh, YouTube page. We're all set and safe and ready to go. Family oriented business here. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes we have uh, some, um, well, what can I tell you? We have some guys out there that just don't have a lick of sense. You probably get more sense out of a doorknob, but hey, you know, you know. Well, all right, <laughs> let's love it. Let's see who's out here tonight. Again, Carl leading the mix here. We all know Carl as uh, the C9 Sauber King. Uh, Carl 1986 handing uh, Sonic, uh, actually, Handing him his hat by one second. Carl with a 112.913. Sonic with a 113.449. Right behind him, like I said, the thunderclap of a CJ. CJ BMX 709. Always oh, great to see Chris Fife back in the, uh, in the in the mix here. Chris, always a uh, class act. And, of course, one of my favorite drivers. Showing uh, showing very well at the GT3 Gunfighters World Championship. Uh, unfortunately, not able to make the last race thus handing it over to the zebra the serengeti slayer standing on the top with that crown on for the time being anyway we'll see how that works out of course we got ed pro one of the uh one of the uh, ministry members here ed pro the shy town shyster well, uh, the windy city no doubt without a doubt is here to play doing very well in this series Video Deb, of course, a uh, ministry sometimers, part timer. Same thing with Looney Tune, Sick Panda, Mackie Ten. We all know Mackie Ten. We all know and love Mr. Dan. Go check out his latest videos at the Mackie Ten uh, YouTube uh, YouTube page. 
Optimus Ate My Baby. What a wonderful name. Uh, we all know this person as Sonic, uh, Sonic's teammate, Sonic 74113, uh, part times with Black Label Racing, and the V8 Supercar Series in Australia, down under. And uh, Optimus is his rocket ship fast teammate winning at Bathurst uh, last Saturday night. Go check it out. I, I actually had the honor and privilege to broadcast that, uh, commentate that, and uh, what a fantastic race it was. Has the most views ever that I've ever, ever done. So thank you, Optimus, for putting on a show. Thank you, for uh, Sonic, for inviting me. Thank you, Death Pusher, for uh, allowing me the privilege uh, to commentate your league's race. It was a fantastic show, to say the least, and I had a great time. Uh, who else is here? We all know Rosta 236 Sasquatch Motorsports sponsoring this event. Rosta, uh, a consummate champion to be. Will he finish off tonight and get a win? Finally, we sure hope so. Uh, Stay Frat, of course, we know him as a ginger and 60s uh, longtime lackey and, of course, homosexual lover. So Stay Frat doing very well here, running strong. Uh, hopefully, we can get uh, Ginger back in the room here and... Uh, continue on with the comedy uh gc8 boy we met him last night uh wow what can i say about this kid uh really good driver got a lot of night but uh we'll see how that works out he's uh he's got a lot of potential as a ministry driver so we'll see if he can hold his butter tonight here uh with this crowd of course the zebra we all know billy billy you in the room tell me you're in here billy's not in here billy Billy's got a gun. Do, 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 do. We all know the zebra. We all know and love the zebra. Y'all know and love the zebra. Come on now. What happened last Saturday night was history in the making. We all saw the zebra topple. No, nay, nay, behead the great Ray Rawl, Stylins 18, and the Malaysian Grand Prix. We saw him eviscerate the Finnish boy at Malaysia, we saw the zebra become an F1 ninja. That's right, the zebra standing tall with the big views winning against my premier class drivers. Zebra celebrating uh, all week long in a wild drunken debauchery of sex and scandal in the San Diego area. So if y'all are down in San Diego and have heard rumors of mayhem and madness, they are all true because the zebra is loose on the street tonight. The Serengeti Slayer winning at Malaysia, sweeping the weekend, the GP2 race, and, of course, the F1 Premier Class race. So hats off to the zebra for doing such tremendous feats in F1. But back to the leaderboard. Here we are. Let's take a look at uh, what we got cooking here in the oven of speed. Take a look here at, well, not very many people on uh, the track as we speak right now. We got Stay Frat working around with the 117, a Sick Panda Park there. Video Deb running very well last night, side by side with some of my ministry drivers. Uh, got a big thrill out of that. Video showing his go-kart prowess in the default setup. So we'll see if he can maintain his position now, right behind him. It's going to be <laughs> the California IAN. Uh, with a 115, a 6, 9, a 1. Mackie 10 with a 115, a 2, 8, 1. He's working his way around. Rosa with a 115, 1, 8, 5. And of course, Optimus ate my baby. Not so fast in the go karts as he is in the V8 supercars. Uh, 115, 1, a 7, 0. Still, we'll see how that works out here. But here's a man who's fast. 114, 6, 0, 4. Ed Pro. Trying to go back in time. Ed Pro, the only driver I know with divers waiting for him at uh, every pit stop as he goes back in. Uh, here we go, CJ BMX with a 114.564. CJ's come to play back from the grave. The greatest comeback since Lazarus with the Ministry of Speed. It's going to be CJ BMX. The Phoenix tonight making his comeback tour. Will he become an active member? Will he become the prodigal son? Is he here on a suicide Talibanish mission? No one knows for sure, but we know this. CJ 
is one of the world's greatest simulation drivers. Still a lot of drama behind CJ. So I watch it, Oprah, on acid. That's right. But right now, right now, CJ parking his rig. Parking it firm and strong. Sorry about that, CJ. Just kind of hanging on there a little bit there, buddy. All right, let's move it on down here. Carl parked 112, 213. Carl just, just clubbing on folks. Well, there you have it. We're just going to wait for qualifying to finish. Then we have a five minute warm up. Uh, <laughs> can I send you an invite? That's going to be pretty tough there, my friend. And let's see if I can or not. You better hurry up. You better make sure this goes through, boy. All right. Uh, Zebra, if you can hear me, come up to the booth, please. Zebra to the booth. Zebra to the booth. If Zebra can hear me, come up to the booth, please. There's a zebra to the booth. Zebra to the booth. Dan, if you got your ears on, uh, send Zebra up here. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll wait for the Zebra to come up to the booth here. 53 seconds to go. Well, I guess I can... See if I can do this without blowing anything up here. I guess they're going to go out during a qualifying session here. Let's find out. I mean, I'm sorry, warm up. I'm just talking to myself. Don't listen to me right now. All right, well. All right, let's, uh, I'm just trying to send a quick message real quick. <laughs> quick message real quick, does that make sense? Uh, uh oh, I hope they get this in time. All right, warm up is about to start here. No drivers are allowed to take the track uh, during warm up. <clears throat> they will have to uh, start at the end of the uh, the grid if they do. No drivers on the track during warm up. Five minute warm up here to check all your settings, which you really don't have any settings because it's a default race. But uh, with that said, we're about to go green flag notice uh, uh, racing. Uh, Ned, you want to come race? All right, well, waiting on the Ned here. He can make the next uh, the next round. We still got drivers going to come in and out kind of late. Donnie Stop is not going to make this uh, first uh, shootout here. Donnie, a uh, minister of speed, to say the least, coming in second place at the Singapore race. Actually, the Malaysian GP, GP2 race, did very well there. Uh, unfortunately, fail to the uh, razor-sharp cutlery of the Zebra. Zebra slaying Donnie, bringing him down to his knees. Fortunately, though, Donnie has got plenty of tricks up his sleeve. I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with here at uh, in the go-kart series. Uh, but with that said, we have lots to talk about. We have lots to race about here. Again, it's going to be a fantastic uh, shootout. I'll tell you what. Speaking of shootouts, let's pay homage uh, to a couple of things real quick. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Kumasada for winning uh, the Indianapolis 500. A fantastic job, a true minister of speed. Well done, sir. Of course, our condolences out to Nikki Hayden. We're still talking about that. Still sad, still weighing heavy on the hearts of many. So uh, condolences out to Nikki and the Hayden family, of course, uh, from the ministry. And, of course, just a quick pr prayer. Father, thank you for gathering us here today. Thank you for showing mercy on our souls and, and giving us another day in your kingdom. Father, we just ask for a spirit of sportsmanship, a spirit of camaraderie, a spirit of brotherhood. Uh, thank you again for all the things that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. But with Jesus in the mix, things should be interesting here. Look at this field. 
16 drivers on the grid. Fly High in the mix. He made it. GCA boy, he's here. Looney Tunes, he's here. Zebra's here. Ed Pro's here. Phil Doubt's here. Carl's here. Optimus 8, my baby, is here. Sick Panda's here. CJ BMX is here. Mackie 10 is here. Stay Frat's here. The Sonic Boomster is here. Rosta236 is here. And of course, a video deb is here. 15 drivers, 15 players. Ned83 in the booth with me. Ned, unfortunately, you couldn't make the show tonight. Looks like we got a full grid. You can get in the next fight, though, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think about tonight's lineup? Look at these, look at these guys out here, man. We got Optimus, we got Carl, we got CJ in the mix, man. Holy smoke. I was checking out the um the lineup from qualifying, man. It is a massive race this morning. It's gonna be <laughs> tough out there. Absolutely. Look at these guys out here. I cannot wait. We got a minute and 45. Ned, you want to just kick your mic up just a little bit there on the uh, on the on the volume there. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you could uh, join us anyway, at least in the booth. Um, how did your uh, little appointment go yesterday? Did uh, did you get the pillow? Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a quick one check. How's that one sounding? Okay. Does that sound all right, Mark? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. Sweet. So yeah, we're we're uh, well, we had a good practice yesterday. Um, well, actually, we only practiced one or two races, but uh, yeah, overall, um, these guys have definitely got a handle on this track. Um, I, I'm looking forward to some really exciting side by side. This first race is going to be tough. Uh, look at these guys that are here, man. I mean, they've come to play. Look at Carl with a 112 in qualifying. That's, uh, that's, that's a quick lap <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, again, uh, Carl wonders why I don't invite him all the time. Well, I tell you what, Carl, <laughs> uh, you know, that's, that's just a little bit too fast for some guys, man. That's crazy. But uh, we're looking forward again, like I said, to a great race. Um, hell, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm totally excited. It's Saturday night. Well, actually, it's Friday night, Saturday for you uh, in uh, the other side of the world. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Saturday morning, to be exact. Saturday for, uh, morning. Yeah, just have my coffee and... Then I've got the notification from YouTube. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> so. Time to get up. There you go. Time to get up and watch some racing. First thing in the morning, Saturday, before you go out and cut the lawn. 14 seconds to go. Folks, the Ministry of Speed is proud to present 250 Shift for Car Racing. Brought to you by Sasquatch Motorsports. All rules, regulations, and racing etiquettes are in effect here tonight. So, again, uh, hopefully we'll see some clean professional go-kart racing. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, whatever happens, happens. Uh, let it be what it is, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm sure if it was anything like last week's, uh, it's going to be a hoop de da So with that said, i got to get ready to back out. Make sure that uh, you are, you're not on the on the track, right? Okay, there you are. You're, you're safe and sound and ready to go. Uh, i got to back out here. Yeah, I'm not with you on the track. Okay, good deal. Get out of here. Spectate mode, so they're rolling around here. So I guess they got it under control as uh, Carl is leading them down uh, the pit here, actually to the start. So I don't know. I don't think they're green yet. I hope they're not green. I wonder if it was a rolling start, and I told them to just go green at the start. But uh, what? Have, what are they? What do I know? But either way, it looks like they're going well. Are they? No, they're not. They can't be going because they're too tight. Yeah, that's that's not that's not. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like it's uh, full on, full on racing yet. But uh, I'm, who knows? I might be missing it out. There we go. Yeah, they're they're just rolling up. They're heating up their tires. There, Carl's just playing around. All right, 29 minutes to go in the 30 minute heat race session at Laguna. Start time is five o'clock in the afternoon, and track temperature was pretty hot. I didn't check it quite off, but uh, you can get a Look at it. I don't know what the track is for, but it's pretty warm there. Whoa, whoa, we got... So I can only see what you're uh, broadcasting. What I'm broadcasting there. Is, yeah. Okay. It's all right. So we're just taking a look at Carl here. Let me uh, get back on here. And, uh, the track map as they come down the court through. So second spot. Oh, second spot belongs, of course, uh, to none other than CJ BMX. We all know CJ. We all know and love Chris. Has been a while since he's raced with the ministry, but again, a uh, great driver. 
Always glad to have CJ around. And they're getting ready to line. I know he popped in last night like a freaking jack in the box. Donnie Stavitz just makes it, but barely. He's not in. He's going to be having to catch the second race. They're about to go. Green flag racing as Carl off CJ leading him up to the front. Oh, Carl gets a good run on CJ. Are they going to cross the stripe? They got Carl with a little boogaloo start by <laughs> fucking Carl. Excuse my language. Oh, my God. Oh, we got one off in the background back there. Big crash in the back with that cones or something, but I saw some body parts and stuff. We got another couple of yahoos going off there. Not sure who that was. Wow. Yeah, hey, we got no a, a typical car start here with the ministry, but uh, Looney Tune working his way up to the front here. Comes Optimus in P5, Ed Pro, P4, Sonic, P3. CJ P2 and of course the old Boogaloo start man himself Carl 1986 scooting away CJ's got a great run right behind him as Carl rockets up the hill here headed toward the court screw. let's take a look at Carl as he's hard on the binders swinging down and dropping low wow that's a better line from CJ there but Carl man that was a little suicidal look at the run he's got out of that exit Carl with a 112 during qualifying right now with a 155 that was lap one here he goes on lap two let's see what he's got as he crosses the line, he's still got a good 500 feet between him and CJ. Ooh, Carl running wide on the rumble strips. Crossing the line right here. And what does he got here? A 113. So he's well on his way to another fast lap. Sonic with a 116. Optimus up to P3 with a 118. He's doing very well. CJ dropping back. Uh-oh, wonder what happened here with a 119. Mackie 10, oh, he's bringing his way up to the front here with a 121, up to P5, very well done. Panda, last night's winner uh, in the uh, Le Mans race, 121.073, up to P6. Rosta, Softbox Motorsports, up to P7 with a 123.080. And GC8 boy in P9 with a 122.814. Last night's hero, today's is zero. Ed Pro was up in front. Now he's down at the back again. That's your teammate there for F1. Ed Pro 007 with a 124-423. Or 433, should I say, stand corrected. In a P10. Stay frat. Ginger and 64. Oh, big crash right there. I don't know who that was, but man, somebody went off and hard. Looks like Ed Pro and uh, GCA boy. There's a GCA boy on the track there. Let's see where Ed Pro is. Yeah, he's getting back on there. So somebody went off there. GCA boy totally naked uh, as far as his body parts, I believe. Who is this? Am I following? Hmm. I can't tell one of these two. It's either Ed Pro in the front there or a GCA boy. And actually, it's the zebra showing me the zebra. Somebody's got a whole front end clip missing right there. That is the zebra in uh, the 11 car in P11. Still stays out. Okay. So Looney Tune is retired, uh, I think. Go ahead. It's a horrible track with this thing with dirt. On yes. the outside, you just get stuck in it, you can't get out. You're, you're definitely stuck there. Okay, there's GCA boy. He's out on the grass. You can see his whole front clip is missing there. So he's got his car shortened up by about a foot. No arrow on that package. There's Fly High. He's in the back there. Oh, filled out. He's in P12. So, whew. Holy smoke. Can I take a breath now? That's all. Yeah, you can have a breath. Wow, holy <laughs> smoke. You're, you're talking all that, and I'm waiting for it. It's come on spray. Yeah, they got stuck out in the outside. And it looked like a little bit of uh, understeer got pushed out wide, so they both recovered. They're both back on track. A little bit of panel damage, but yeah, you don't need it with these things. It's not a problem. Nah, no arrow. No arrows really needed here, like you said. Uh, you just kind of want your front end, just uh, your, your alignment to be right. Um, with, yes. with the default, yeah, but damage is on. So, uh oh, we got Phil Doubt running off there, really wide, stopping at the top of the course queue there. Probably did some faster traffic. No, nope, just blew the corner uh, and blew the entrance there. He's working his way down. Phil Doubt with heavy damage as well on the Doubt machine. So, uh, Fly High looking pretty strong there. P13 right behind him is going to be GC8 boy, but he has got big damage as well on P14. So uh, there's me and P15 there. So yeah, 15 drivers on the track. Let's work our way back up to the top of the board. Carl, all by himself, working his way back up the hill toward the corkscrew. Once again, this is where we found Carl last time. This is where we're finding him again. He had a pretty ugly line going down that time. But let's see what he got here this time. A little bit better, a little bit cleaner, a lot faster, that's for sure. And Carl is just 
gone. At one twelve nine seven nine. I tell you what, man. Uh, I tell you what, man. This guy is just ridiculous fast. He's, he can't come back. Come, come back. He's just any car you get him out of here. Anything. Anything. I, I agree. Really quick. I agree completely. F1, uh, as y'all know, in F1, I believe he held the uh, all-time uh, lap time at Silverstone uh, in the F1 car, um, the track record. Yes. Yeah, so that's uh, that's saying a lot. You know, that's taking on the world. <laughs> so uh, oh, this is another fellow we haven't seen in a while. Um, we used to get in our, our races, even our practice races. I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't even seen him on the line. So maybe he's been hiding in the shadows, waiting for a really competitive series to come out. <laughs> well, here this, he is. Th here he is. Absolutely. Now, we all know Carl as one of the faster drivers in simulation, um, teaming up with the likes of, of course, CJ BMX, David Griffin, uh, and uh, those, uh, those those pirates. But, yeah, these guys were just really, really, really fast. And, again, like you said, um, and you just documented, we haven't seen CJ. I mean, I'm sorry. We haven't seen Carl quite a bit. Um, he's been on. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's just kind of like you said, lurking in the shadows, man. Maybe he's biding his time, wait, waiting for something fun to come up. And here we go. Look who's up in P1. Sonic the Boomster making his way up. Australia's finest. Well, second finest next to you, Ned. But uh, yeah, def <laughs> de definitely working his way up here. Sonic with a uh, 113.8, a 6.7. So not about speed. It's just about staying in the position to make that pass and uh, leading the race. So. There's a call right done, behind him. Call must have gone wide. He must have had a penalty because he was stopped on track. And from what I saw, he was stopped on track. And Sonic just blew straight past him. He must have got stuck in the dirt or got a penalty somewhere. Hmm. We'll have to catch up and find out what's going on here. But uh, we all know Carl. He does not like to be passed or give up track. No. Nope. He will work his way back up. Oh, who's that off there? That looked like CJ BMX going off there in the back. There's Carl making a move now on the outside of Sonic. So it's going to be a shootout as Carl takes the pass. He's definitely going to ride it deep in there. Wow, making it stick. Sonic just has to go wide and let Carl through. Oh, man, I tell you what. There's only one of the, yeah, there's only one other person I hate being uh, having uh, behind me other than Sonic, and that's going to be Carl. Because, <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yes. Oh, yeah, we, we remember shades of this uh, battle here as uh, Carl and uh, the youngster Deathstroke were battling it out here at uh, Laguna in the GT3 series. Deathstroke holding Carl up for a couple of laps there. Carl just finally had enough of the youngster and sent, sent him on his way. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we all know Carl. We all know CJ. I mean, I'm sorry. We all know Sonic. Uh, well documented Saturday night. Dot, uh, Sonic and me on some VH car drivers and of course nothing dirty nothing heinous just straight up just lots of pressure on the back of some of these drivers they just could not uh, stand up to the Sonic onslaught but we're winding it up 20 to go 10 minutes down in the booth with me is Net83 we're just broadcasting hanging out doing the thing Saturday morning in Australia Friday night here in the States uh, checking out the 250 Shifter Car Series here of broadcasting from San Antonio, Texas. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There it is again. Who's got the penalty back there? It looks like somebody had a penalty and was just creeping up around. We'll come back and find out who that was. Optimus working as we have to P4. Mackie still in P5. Panda stuck in P6 and Roast and P7. Let's take a ride around here. Let's go on board with Roast and see if he can reel in the Panda, man. Ghost has been a, a great uh, superstar when it comes to these open wheel gigs here. Whoa, whoa, we got cars spinning out of the sand back there. That's how fast it happens. On board with Russ as he climbs up the hill here, headed toward the corkscrew, headed, trying to run down Sick Panda. Will he reel him in? Sick Panda's got some uh, company in front of him here. There. I'm not quite sure who that is. That is Mackie 10, the Mac Attack. Mackie 10 trying to make some points here in a P5, standing on the podium at Malaysia. I actually take that back. Yes, it was Malaysia. Uh, was it? No, it was not Malaysia. It was a Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Wow. I tell you what, though, man, that kid, he was as happy as the, I've ever seen him. Uh, but, yeah, Mackie 10 doing very well right now. Up to P4, 115 at 039. Uh, still three seconds off the fast pace there of uh, Carl, but it doesn't matter. You gotta be where you're at. <laughs> and you never know what happens. So just stay close to the front. Stay close to the front and keep on pushing. Video's worked his way up here. Video was in last place a little while ago. 
It is now up to P3. That time he had a great run side by side with some of the members. Uh, he got a lot of compliments last night. Uh, I invited him over here today and look at him shining like a rock star up on the podium step right now. So, I don't know, Ned. What do you think, Ned? Do, um, Go ahead. I don't know what I'm saying, Joe. So I saw him in the background again. I think he's. Uh oh, 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 oh no, no. We got Carl off. Carl way off here. Uh oh, Carl in the sticks. Oh, no. Carl right before pit road entrance. Carl just went way, way wide. Sonic, he just set sail. Oh no, here comes video now on the back bumper of Carl. Carl spins around again! Oh no, he doesn't. Who is that? Somebody else spun around right there, right in front of him. Holy smoke, that man. That must have been Panda, because man, there was a lot of cars spinning right there. That's right, Carl's in the yellow livery. My bad. That's how fast it happens. I couldn't even process it. Holy smoke. These little things, man, they're so small. Uh oh, who's that right in front of the Oh my god, they're hauling butt. So Rose just picked up a spot. Maggie's dropped down a spot. Optimus is back down now. He's down to seventh. Ed Pro in eighth. Skate Fred in ninth. Zebra is still languishing in the back in P10. Uh, GCA Boy P11. Still doubt, without a doubt. Still in P12. CJ out parked in a P13. Wonder what happened here. We'll have to talk to uh, Chris. Maybe we can give an invite up to the booth here. Let's see if he'll come on up and chat with me i'm sending him an invite now folks i i i got him right here hang on one second he's uh i'm, I'm already in it so uh apologize for that uh brief delay folks let's see if we can get uh mr fife up here and uh, talk to us as we continue the battle down the front row all right back up to the front sonic Leading Fly High left the session, so Fly High is not a happy camper tonight. Here, we might have had a hot date. Who knows? Jeremy Pope, of course, we all know him as a, a great driver. Uh, these these go karts, man, aren't for everybody. I tell you that, <clears throat> they are tough to drive, man. These are not an easy thing to get around. It. Here he is, right here, CJ BMX. What happened there, buddy? We were just contending for the front, and uh, we saw you go wide there. Uh, was it contact? Was it just uh, lack of practice? What was going on there with your car? You know, uh, didn't didn't have confidence in the in the in the grip levels there. Yeah, I, I guess without a, a good solid setup and uh, these default setups, these carts can be a little sketchy. But uh, still, well done. Uh, stick around. You're still invited for the uh, the next race. You will be starting in the front. <laughs> if that if that's any consolation there, <laughs> because uh, it's going to be an inverted field. Yeah, it's going to be an inverted field. They're calling these guys going to be in the back. So uh, yeah, stick around, CJ. You still got 15 minutes. Uh, kick back, enjoy the show, go get you a, a cup of coffee or something there, man. And, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we just wanted to find out if you were all right, so had your fingers and toes. CJ just being released from the in-field uh, in care center uh, after uh, hitting the wall there. But uh, good, good job for CJ. He's, he's good to go. So uh, back at it again. Uh, where would you want to start here, Ned? Would you want to start in the front, the back here for the second race? Um, uh, you know, these guys, uh, they're battling for this win here, uh, but uh, they will be starting at the back of the field uh, this next time by. Um, I'm just starting anywhere. Johnny, like, we'll just jump in. If, that's right, if there's room, but like, I'm not going to kick anyone out, obviously. I'm happy to just sit here and watch the stage and uh, take it all in. It's all good. No, if, if or, or actually, let me rephrase that question. If you were not racing in the next one, what, where, where, would, where would you prefer to start at? The front or the back? How about that? Uh, if you had your choice. Back. The back, I'll, okay. I'll just start towards the back. I'll, I've had a bit of practice in these. I like the drive. The drive helps me keep it steady and on track. You know, especially around here, you've got a good chance. Um, the, the faster guys, if they're going to be starting at the back the next race, we could get a bit of a toe up with them, you know, get into the draft and the straights and, you know, just try and plow through the field. But, there um, you go. If you can have guys like Carl, you can have some of these faster guys out here. Well, look at here. Look what we got here. Mr. B. Uh, Mr. B, uh, I know you're going on vacation tomorrow night. Uh, your team was here earlier. Uh, they said that you were unsure about whether or not you wanted to race. Um, second, second race should still have some seats open if you're if you're so interested in uh, giving it a shot. Yeah, we'll see. Right now, I'm just letting you know that uh, CJ needs to share his mic. <laughs> oh, he thought he didn't have his mic on. Okay, well, CJ, yeah. yeah. 
Well, that's that's sometimes those are the mistakes that we make when we don't uh, we ha- we haven't been broadcasting a little bit. But uh, glad you could join us for this evening. I didn't see you on earlier when we started, so I figured no, uh, I, I figured you were packing. Some, I, some stuff done. I figured I figured that I figured that. So, well, like I said, stick around. Thirteen minutes to go. We're watching the race here as Optimus, Mackie, and the gang here try to work their way to the front. Ooh, sick panda yeah, going way wide. Do it! Jump on in. Uh, I, was, I was running. I was running it last night. And I was running 114, so I should be able to compete. In this one. Oh, right. That's what I'm talking about there. Well, a fast lap right now is 112, uh, but that's of course from Carl. The Carl is a, is a mutant. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. So you can't really. Yeah. That, that's not. Uh, I can't compete <laughs> to that. Sorry. But you're faster than Mackie. Oh, Mackie's off too right now. Mackie's way off. We got another car right behind him. Way off too. That's. Who is that? The yellow car of Sonic, I believe it is. Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. Oh, my God. So we got cars going off all kinds of places on the track here. So, uh, wow. Let's get back online here and find out what's going on. So right now, Sonic is leading. Carl chasing him down in a P2. A video quite a ways back in P3. Rosta up to P4, which is very nice. Rosta running a 115. He's not too far back. No traffic, no pressure around him. Mackie now has uh, issues going on here. So he's got Panda just shortly behind him. Uh, he's also got lap traffic around him. So uh, Mackie 10. Wow. Running a 115.039. No damage on that machine yet. And there's Sick Panda. I know. I know. I, well, you know, he, he, he told me earlier in a, in a previous interview that uh, he's been doing a lot of work at the shop. So he hasn't really had much time to practice. Uh, yada yada yada, you know, that's kind of a driver excuses type thing. So, um, hey, it's quite a uh, late pit too, or early, depending on way you look at it. He's got to stay up all night pretty much to catch it. These races, yeah, like, yeah, you guys yeah. get prime time, we get the morning, he gets the early, <laughs> early point, about two, three o'clock in the morning or something like that. So, yeah, yeah, it's a little uh, late for him, and, and I appreciate that. And I told him, I said, you know, um, I can make adjustments. You know, come the summer months and stuff like that, you know, there's going to be some times when uh, we can do something on Saturday afternoon, you know, and, and a little bit earlier during the day and try to get everybody in, in, in good time, uh, you know, in their prime time. So there's just some adjustments we can make. Um, but, you know, I do appreciate our drivers making uh, adjustments with their clock, of course, uh, getting up early or staying up late. Um, getting it done, man, coming out here and racing, putting on some good TV here. So Mackie's under attack right now. Wow, man, holy smoke. These two guys are going at it, Mackie and Panda. I, I really can't tell because there's two cars and two cars. Uh, and I know <laughs> one of them is lapped and one of them isn't. So uh, I'm a little perplexed myself here. So let's move on up here. Optimus ain't my baby. He was running pretty strong. A 114, a 554. Man, the V8 supercar race, he dominated. Uh, I'm sure y'all saw that. This guy was just untouchable. Here, uh, well, I guess, uh, you know, a level playing field. And, of course, uh, these parts are definitely not blue super cars. Uh, he's having his hands full. He's running, he's running in P8. So uh, he's got his work cut off for him. His teammate, of course, Sonic, we know that, leading the race. Oh, oh, and Pro getting together with Optimus. A good shot. Optimus gave him a good click as they came on down to the final section here. Uh, but Ed Pro holding on to it. Optimus just... Wow, uh, wish we could replay that again, but that was a clip. He definitely gave him a shot there. Holy smoke! I don't know if you get to, uh, get a uh, get a chance to watch that there on your uh, on your screen there. But I saw that. I don't think it was. It was, certainly wasn't intentional. It was no, just no, no. Ed Pro coming in. He was. He had the line, so he took it. He took it, and uh, yeah, boom! Uh, good shot though. Uh, both drivers able to hold on to it. Optimus, as we were talking about, a great driver just. Whew, this is a whole different ball game for him, so um, he's definitely got his work cut out for him tonight. We'll continue that battle here uh, shortly. Let's keep on moving down. This is the guy that I'm freaking out on. Look at the zebra, man. His car looks like a, I don't know, he's had a rough go there. No front suspension, no front anything there. Uh, <laughs> just putting around. A 116 triple seven. Not typical zebra stuff here. Oh, is, he, is he waiting for the reverse? The reverse grid then, it, uh, it could be it could be i'm thinking i'm thinking that's what's happening here yeah it could be zebra could be sandbagging here uh and try to put the reverse grid here but uh zebra all that's by himself that's, that's slow <laughs> that is slow for a zebra 
Well, well, the whole front end is gone, so uh, and, you know, yeah. damage is on. So, um, yeah, I, I guess so. I guess he would be slowed down just a little bit. There, Ooh, we got a car running wide right there, and uh, there's Stay Frat. Now he's pretty good here. That's one of Ginger's boys. He's working his way up to the front there. Ooh, nice pass on the inside there. He picks up a spot. Oh my God, who would? Who is that that he passed there? That looked like GCA boy. It sure is. Wow, side by side as they work their way down. And the twisty bits there. Woo, GCA boy with a great exit. And just shoots away. We haven't talked about him much tonight. But we met him last night. Uh, and, uh, wow, he definitely stepped up his game. So, uh, again, you know, those are some of the uh, the benefits of opening a public room every once in a while. And uh, you never know who you're going to find. Uh, but uh, definitely. We had a couple during the week. Yeah, we found at least two or three. So, we're definitely happy with that. <clears throat> Guys, if y'all are watching out there, you want to race with us. Um, we do open public rooms occasionally. So, uh, if you get the opportunity to see me, Ned, or uh, one of the other ministry drivers' names up there on the uh, on, on, on the game list there, y'all can jump in and see if y'all can't get on board with this. Uh, let us know that you saw us on YouTube, and uh, let us know that you're interested in racing with us. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can't get y'all fit in somewhere. Uh, right now, though, we're following this battle with GC8 and uh, Stay Frat. These two we don't really spend too much time with. Again, like I said, they're uh, new to the ministry. I'm just kind of following them around. They look like they have good lines, clean lines. They're racing each other hard there. I want to just kind of seeing if they make any mistakes as far as uh, etiquette wise. Whoa, man, there we go, side by side as they dive it on in there. Stay Frat gives them nigh, lots of room there. GCA boy closes the door, brings it around. Nothing nefarious about any of that driving there. Just good, hard, aggressive racing. These little carts look like they're just darting around. Ooh, that was a, that was a t tight line there. It's so twitchy. Especially ran that down through the SA. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. I have to agree with all that dust and stuff. Here they go down the front straightaway side by side. It's going to be a shootout. Who's going to cross the line first? They bump just ever so slightly. Still clean race all the way down there. Stay Fred hanging it in. Gets tucked back in or decides he wants to go out again wide on the outside. He's going to try the over and under. And he gets it done. Oh, my Lord. It's a slight touch. He had to roll out of the throttle. Great move there. Just couldn't do it. Wow. Almost got it done. Almost got it done with the sneak attack from the back. I saw that coming a mile away. He's still putting the pressure on. GCA boys, they worked their way up there. Oh, the treacherous part of the track here. He's going to try the dangerous outside the other. Again, over and under. He gets it done this time really cleanly. GCA boy goes wide under the GoPro bridge. Headed toward the top. Run up to the hill. Oh, up to the top of the mountain there. Headed toward the court screw now. Oh, GCA boy went wide all on his own there. Stay Frat won that battle, hung in there, and uh, the pressure was a little bit too much there for GCA. He is out of the race, or actually this battle there. Wow, well done, Stay Frat. We saw that work his work its way uh, to fruition. Great job there. That was That's a good series of corners there with those two. They played <laughs> that really well. It's unfortunate that he just hit the dirt there, but as soon as he hit it, it just dragged him in around. Yeah, it just sucked him right out there. But, yeah, nothing uh, nothing nefarious on the part of Stay Fret. That was some really good, hard, clean racing. Um, that's why we stayed with that battle. I just wanted to make sure that these two guys were playing fair, and they certainly were. So, uh, that was worth a, that was worth a dollar of entertainment for sure. So good job to both drivers. <laughs> that was very close race. The GCA boy, gonna, oh, he's not done yet. He's got somebody else here that uh, he's passing around here. Who's he got? Hold on. Yep, there's somebody. Who is that? The Z That's not the zebra. I don't know who that is in front of him in the blue livery. But, uh, yeah, GC8, he's, whoa, whoa, look at that. Uh oh holy smoke. Let's see that freeze up there. Well, he's in P11. Yeah, he was all by himself there, so forget about all that. I got that all confused. I'll tell you what, though, man. These carts are moving really fast. You gotta pay attention. I need a, <clears throat> I need another another screen going on here with. Oh, <laughs> watching Phil Dowd spin out all by himself. Phil Dowd with a little bit too much pace off that off that downhill, and uh, yeah, hung it out just a little bit too far. Oof. <laughs> oh, Phil cutting the ugly corner there on exit, coming on the first straightaway. Beer cans raining down on the filled out machine as his fans aren't happy with his performance tonight. Currently in P12 with a 116.737. No filled out merchandise is selling whatsoever tonight. So unfortunate for filled out. Uh, not showing. He's been, uh, 
He's been running well in our series here with the Radicals we're racing and uh, he's sitting in fourth in the championship. Really? Um, yeah, he, he missed the race just on Monday, but he should be back this Monday. And um, okay. he's really, he's, he's going really well in the Radicals. He's running really quick. As I said, he's one position above me on the table. Oh. So... Well, I'm 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 looking forward to seeing some some of that. I like to I like to watch that. Uh, I know uh, I know you guys race at uh, odd times, but uh, yeah, don't, don't yeah, include me the next time. YouTube. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, something. Replays are on YouTube. Selfless plug net eighty three. I put YouTube uh, replays of these races. <laughs> selfless the plug. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. The selfless plug, brought to you by, brought to you by net eighty three. You guys. Uh, it's not all about the ministry. It's about the ministry and her drivers. Uh, Ned, Mackie, Stylins. You guys check them out, man. David Griffin. These guys have put up some great videos. They do some great racing. It's all about simulation. It's not just about Johnny, man. It's about everybody, man. It's about all the leagues out there that are trying to get together. They're trying to put this together. They're trying to bring eSports to its fruition where it's supposed to be. So check them out. Follow, their, follow some of their videos, man. Follow some of their channels, man. These guys are crazy. They're wacky. They do some crazy racing. Um, and I, I, I can't watch it enough. I, I only have enough. I don't have that many hours in the day. But uh, when I get a chance to sit down and watch it, oh my God, it's some great stuff. Um, Mackie's videos are, are just hilarious. Uh, Ned's videos, of course, I haven't had an opportunity to watch them, but uh, he's put some stuff together uh, that's on um, my website, uh, Poetry in Motion. Go check it out. Uh, it's on my channel too. Uh, that, that's, that's all Ned. So uh, <laughs> go check it out. Uh, but yeah, we're down here watching uh, the zebra work his way around. We're about to finish this uh, race off. Uh, one minute and 48 seconds to go. That's how the leaderboard stands. Sonic still leading them off. Call P2, video P3. Very well done. Rosta Sasquatch Motorsports in P4. Optimus showing uh, some strength and coming back. A rally back for Optimus up to P5. Ed Pro dropping down to P6. Mackie was in P4, now in P7. The Zebra was down to P11, up to P8. Sick Panda was in 6, now he's ninth. Uh, stay Frat, uh, stay pretty steady about that P10, P11 spot. GCA Boy in a P11, uh, and of course filled out in a P12. Uh, the fast lap, of course, it belongs to Carl with a 112, a double to one. Holy smoke, that's freaking fast. Here in the carts. But... That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and that's how it's going to play out pretty much here with the next uh, minute to go. We're going to start another room here. We're going to do an inverted field. So stand by, stick around. It's going to be a wild one. Part two and then a part three. So, uh, yeah, hang on. And who's going to cross the line first? Not Sonic. He's still got 37 seconds to go. Get it done, son. One more time around for the Sonic Boomster. Right behind him, Carl. He might get uh, he might get another lap. That's going to be it, though. Video definitely will not make the 25 seconds, I don't think. So uh, if anybody goes around again, it's going to be one, two, and three. Uh, let's see if Carl can make this loop the loop. And there's video right behind him. So maybe these two will make it. Carl slowing down. <laughs> Carl doesn't want to go again. <laughs> Carl slowing down. Carl might get past because here goes video. Oh, here goes video. No, he won't get past. So Sonic's on his way around. And Carl does not have to go around again. Video does not have to go around again. So Carl, the only one working his way around here through lap traffic. I'm sorry, Sonic working his way around here through lap traffic. Why do I keep saying Carl? Sonic. Sonic. They're both the same. They're both fast. They're both ridiculous fast. So Sonic already threw the court screw. Uh, that's it. He's, he's, he's done. He's uh, definitely taken victory again here uh, in the first round of the go-kart series tonight. So well done, Sonic, the V8 Supercar Champion, the C9 Sauber uh, Pilot, and, of course, the 250 Shifter Kart Victor here tonight at Laguna Seca. Sonic taking the win, race one, uh, and, uh, wow, well done. Not too bad. Carl taking P2 and a video P3. So the field is going to start like this. Uh, Mr. B's probably going to be in here. Ned, you're going to be in here. So uh, th that'll be those two guys up. Uh, actually, y'all will be in the back row uh, with the uh, Sonic and the rest of the gang. But uh, the field will start like this. Phil out. GCA boy will be on the front row. Stay frat. Sick Panda, second row. Mackie and a Zebra. Teammates, Racing Stripes, Motorsports. Third row. Fourth row belongs to Rosta, Ed Pro. Fifth row belongs to Optimus and Video. 
Uh, sixth roll belongs to Carl and Sonic. And then last roll will probably be Ned and you. Um, actually, Ned and uh, Mr. B. And, oh, you know what? Let's not forget Donnie. Donnie will be here shortly. Donnie. So Donnie's going to be here, too, as well. So, wow. Yeah, we got a great lineup. And uh, hopefully CJ will come back. So, um, yeah. I think, the, <laughs> I think we're going to be full. Yeah, we're already down yeah. to 13 drivers here. So, wow. So, with that said. If CJ wants to CJ wants to come back in, let him come in. We'll see if he wants to come back in. Yeah, definitely. I just saw him back out, so um, he uh, probably will not. We'll see how that works out here. So stick around, guys. We're just uh, resetting the room here. But, uh, again, thank you for joining us uh, tonight. Ned, you better go get uh, in your driving suit here. Get ready to go. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll sign off. See you. All righty. All righty, so Ned83 uh, joining us and leaving uh, us here in the booth as he gets gets ready to go racing. So, uh, wow, fantastic uh, drive to say the least. Uh, we're going to get that thing started one more time. Let me get some uh, guys up here real quick here. Uh, Ned, Ned, Ned. So we're going to do this real quick. So we're going to do another 30-minute session five minute warm-up so no qualifying for this uh, they know what they got to do they're going to just start uh and go backwards an inverted field here so let me send out some invites real quick and make sure that we got everybody in here one moment uh, please donnie uh, mr b and of course Ned so those are the three drivers that were uh, invited to come on in wow I can't hold on to my head anymore because it's about to pop give me a second here I got to get the zebra chon up in the room here zebra zebra on the wall who's the fairest oh did I say that right I didn't I never do all right, one second. Here we go, Zebra, and come on up. All right, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? The Zebra is. <clears throat> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, the GT3 Gunfighter World Champion, the winner at Malaysian Grand Prix, swept the entire weekend, just brought tears to the eyes of all the drivers out there, Fantastic win, just like Takuma Sato. The Zebra 94 in the house. Zebra, what's going on down there, brother? We're going to get ready to go racing or what? Uh, yeah, waiting on you. <laughs> waiting on me. That sounds like a country song. If you're waiting on me, son, you're backing up. All right, so I got a five-minute warm-up on. Samey, same, samey, same. So uh, basically, it's going to be an inverted field. Uh, it's going to be uh, – let me see. I'll tell you what, how it's going to go right here. It's going to be filled out, and uh, I, I said it a minute ago, but – um, either way, Donnie, um, Mr. B, and Ned are all going to start in the back as well, behind uh, Sonic and everybody else. So they'll start in the back part of the field. Uh, but uh, uh, Mr. B is yet to be. Mr. B is not in the room yet. He should be here shortly. So uh, <clears throat> we'll get him in here one more time and send him another invite. Uh, if he doesn't make it, then just continue on because he's going out of town anyway. So he might not. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's on completely at all. So with that said, let's get going here. And uh, you need more time on the warm-up or what? Oh, uh, no. Five minutes is enough. I just need to tell everyone what position they'll be starting in. All right. All right. And then it's going to be a rolling start, and then we'll pick it up, and we'll go from there. All right. Zebra, you got it. Zebra, our, uh, our go-to guy. If you want to come back up and enjoy uh, in-car reporter position, you certainly can. So, with that said, let's do this thing. All right, folks. Give me a second here while we wind it up. I'll be right back. Thank you for joining us here with the Ministry of Speed and its broadcasting of the 250 Shifter Card Series. <clears throat> I can hardly wait. I need something. <laughs> something for my, my tears. Oh, man. It's going to be exciting. Give me a second.
John, are you there? Hello? Are we really hung up here? I guess we are hung up. So it looks like Project Glitch has struck again. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Wow. Let's see if we can't get somebody in here. And get this rectified. So... I know what I'll do. So give me a second here, gang. Give me a second here, gang. Give me a second. Zebra, looks like we're stuck here, buddy. Yeah, so what's going to happen is uh, the stream's going to end shortly because if you're stuck in the loading screen, you have to turn off the game completely, which will end the stream. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out in the, uh, in the actual... Uh, uh, application so the stream should still be going here so give me a second i'm gonna try to make another room quickly one Actually, second hopefully it'll work hopefully hope, hopefully it'll work here we go